There is an idol sitting beside me. It doesn't mean that she's as cute as an idol, but it means that she is actually an active idol as of now. Her name is Asahi Kohinata, and everyone calls her Asahina. She appears on TV shows and magazines and has high communication skills. She's also extremely popular. She's naturally popular among boys as well, but there are no guys who confess their love to her. They're all strictly adhering to the rule that idols cannot be involved in any romantic relationships. They might also have been resigned to the fact that they would not have been able to go out with her even if they did tell her their romantic feelings for her. She belonged to everyone, but she couldn't belong to someone in particular. Seiya! Seiya Kagetsuki! Hmm? Oh, sorry, I was spacing out. What is it, Tomochika? What? Were you not listening to what I was telling you just now? No, not at all. You tend to be spaced out a lot these days. Well, anyways, I have big news. Apparently, Asahina is going to take a break from her idol activities. I see. What? Wait, aren't you interested in this news? You sit right behind her. Not really, but what part of that news is supposed to be big? Well, the question is why she's going to take a break from her idol activities. Soma Chica, what are you talking about? Oh, Asahina. I mean, uh, Miss Kohinata. I'm your fan. Can I have your autograph and shake hands with me? I'm sorry, but I'm not working right now, so I can't. But, Miss Kohinata, why are you taking a break from your idol activities? I've been looking forward to your live concerts every time as your fan. Is that right? Um, thanks and sorry. I can't tell you the reason right now. Are you having a relationship with one of your male fans? Or are you involved in an intense love relationship with a celebrity? <laughs> no, it's not like that. I'm so curious that I can only fall asleep during class. How stupid is that? But if I am not an idol, I am just a normal girl, don't you think? Oh, I see. You want to go out with me by taking a break from your idol activities, huh? No, that's not it at all. That was directly said. Then what kind of guys do you like? I'll do my best to be that type, okay? I guess my type is guys that are sort of like, hmm, or, well, and are not that interested in me, I think. What? What's so good about someone like that? You have a point there. Personally, I would like that person to have more interest in me, though. Oh, you were, uh, joking then. <laughs> Yo, Seiya, that kind of sounded like you, don't you think? What? Because when I tell you about Miss Kohinata, you say, hmm, or well... Hey! I was not talking about Kagetsuki, who seems like he has zero interest in me. Don't misunderstand me, all right? Of course. Kohinata left with those words, looking like she was in a bad mood. It seems like Asahina still doesn't like you very much, huh? If you know that, then don't mention Asahina to me. But that was definitely what you always say about her. Perhaps she actually likes... No way. Ever since we've been assigned to the same class this year, Kohinata's attitude towards me has been like that. For example, when we pass the worksheets during class... <sighs> uh, could you take this quickly? <laughs> She's been like that. I'm always greeted with a cold stare by Kohinata. Also, on another occasion during class... Yikes! Hmm? What is it, Kagetsuki? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Don't shout out in a strange voice like that during class, then. What is Kokinata doing? Suddenly tracing my back with her finger? Mm hmm? Is she writing something? I can not see the black bo- Why doesn't she tell me just directly? Goodness. What does she mean by this? Because she's sitting behind me, I can't see her face. If she doesn't like me, then that's fine. But since I'm not sure why, I don't know what to do about it. So this is honestly problematic for me. Yo, what did you mean by that? What are you talking about? You were drawing something on my back. Thanks to you, I couldn't help but draw attention to myself during class. Don't yell in a strange voice for something so minor like that. I almost felt embarrassed by it myself. She is so not cute. That was... You're tall and your back is broad, and I couldn't see the blackboard. Then you could tell me that directly. I don't want people to think that I have some contact with you. Why? 
I don't want people to think that I am friends with a particular guy. Anyway, can you not glare at me like that? What? But you're the one who started it. You're giving me such a bad look. Well, I can't help it. My eyes look like that to begin with. That is fatal as an idol, you know. <sighs> what do you think about me anyway, Seiya? I uh, don't think anything in particular. But you always glare at me, don't you? It's not that you're special. I was also born with these eyes. To begin with, I am not good with women. I don't really know why, though. Uh, but if you are like that, you won't be popular with girls, like, ever. I don't need to become popular with them. I'm living a fulfilling life every day with the way I am now. Now well, you should be careful that you aren't too popular. You might be stalked by some weird guys again. Huh. Mind your own business. Alright then, well, just be on the lookout. I gradually felt annoyed by Kohinata's attitude. Kohinata is recently rather bothersome. Today she picked a verbal fight with me and told me that I'm not popular with the girls. Huh? Wait a minute. Kohinata's cold towards me because I'm an introvert, right? Alright, the next time she starts a fight with me, I'll tell her that I have a girlfriend. I wonder why Kohinata's taking a break from her idol activities, huh? From the way she was talking with Tomochika, I didn't seem like it involved any relationships with men. Oh, it must be that weird fans are making trouble for her. I remember the first time that I met Kohinata. It was when I had just entered high school. I was walking in the city and then... Please stop! I do not like what you are doing! Hmm? I hear a woman's voice from over there. Maybe I should go and see if things are alright? We are not in the theater! Oh, come on! I will call the police if necessary. I bought a bunch of your idol goods, you know. That's right, let's take a picture in that building over there. Hey! What? Who are you? It doesn't matter who I am, she doesn't like what you guys are doing. Uh, no, she doesn't mind it. We're Asahina fans. That's right, that's right, Asahina will not betray us. Quit talking nonsense about fans and Asahina and just disappear. Yikes! Sorry! Well, I didn't have to use any physical force. Say, you over there. Uh, yes! What? What is it? Are you alright? Did they take pictures of you? Oh, yes. I, I am fine. I see. Then I'll get going now, so be careful, alright? Uh, please tell me your name and contact information. Please let me repay you for your kindness. Since I did it because I wanted to, I don't need to be repaid for it. Bye. The girl who I had helped was the popular idol Asahina, or Asahi Kohinata. But to think that she really had been going to the same school as me. And to think that in second year we were in the same class and she sits behind me in the classroom. It was coincidence that the girl I helped was a popular idol, but I don't believe in things like fate. The next day, during the lunch break... Seiya, look! I was able to get the ticket for Asahina's final performance before she takes a break from her idol activities! Hmm, glad to hear that. Yeah, it sold out within the first few minutes that they started selling the tickets, so I thought that I wouldn't be able to get one, but I somehow managed to. It seems that my love was heard up there by God. When we were chatting like that, Kohinata came towards us. Seiya, uh, do you have a moment? Me? I'm talking with Tomochika right now. Him, <clears throat> Asahina wants to talk with you, go! Since Tomochika said that, I unwillingly followed Kohinata, but... Here you are. The concert ticket? Yes, you don't have a girlfriend, so you must have time on your hands, right? There was an extra ticket for the concert that I am in. I am giving it to you as a special treat. She's making fun of me again. Alright, I'll lie to her and say that I have a girlfriend. There was an extra ticket? I heard from Tomochika that the tickets were sold out from the first few minutes. Well, that was for the general sale, and this one I had already with me. I see, but I don't need it. I have no interest in idols or concerts. <sighs> also, I have a date on that day. Date? What? What did you just say? A date? I didn't tell people around me, but I have a girlfriend. What? Wait, wait, you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Why are you so flustered? I am not... Flustered, but you said that you didn't mind being unpopular with girls, so was that a lie? I don't need to be popular with the girls because I already have a girlfriend. Wait, why are you shaking like that? 
This is absolute horror. To think that there would be a girl who would want to go out with you. That is quite rude. You don't actually have a girlfriend, right? You're lying. I thought this might happen, so I showed Kohinata a picture I'd taken with my cousin, who's one year younger than me, but... Oh, she's cute. She has a good figure, too. Right? She's one year younger than me, so she kind of looks up at me, you know? Well, I find that kind of cute. He is bragging about his girlfriend! But whether I have a girlfriend or not has nothing to do with you, right? That is kind of true, but it also does have something to do with me. What? What do you mean? Well, that is... so... <laughs> what? Why are you crying all of a sudden? Because I had liked you for so long, Seiya! What? Why didn't you tell me that you had a girlfriend? Wait a minute, you like me? <laughs> That's right. Why didn't you notice that? Hold on, you had been acting so cold towards me and glaring at me all the time. How could I have noticed? So it seems that in the end, she had not hated me, but actually liked me. And apparently, there was a turning point where she decided not to act in such a cute manner. It was on the day I'd helped Kohinata from her troublesome fans. Oh, are you the one from yesterday? Hmm? Oh, you're the one from yesterday. We go to the same school then, huh? This must be destiny. My name is Asahi Kohinata. Oh, I see. Well, I would like to repay you for your kindness yesterday. No, it's fine. Huh? A kind of cold attitude. Rather, please don't meddle into my affairs. Yesterday was just by chance. But it is a fact that you helped me, even if it was just by chance. It's natural to help someone who needs it, right? Oh, that is very cool. No, it's the same as helping a dog or a cat that lives around here. Dog? Cat? I am a human and a nationally popular idol as well. If you understood me, then please walk a little further away from me. I don't want people around here to think that I'm friends with a nationally popular idol. How cold! But I should thank you properly. The day after that... Uh, I baked some cookies as my thank you gift to you. I told you that I didn't need to be thanked. I don't like when people do things like this for me. Huh? I understand. I will not have anything to do with you anymore, so please just accept this. Okay, but is it alright for me to share with other people as well? Please do as you like. It is no longer mine. That is how the impression she had of me became worse and worse. But soon after that... What? You got cookies from Asahina? Yeah, do you want some? Yeah, yeah! Cookies made by a popular idol are incredible! <sighs> so he plans to brag about it to his friend after all. But is this really alright? You got it from Asahina, right? That's fine. If I don't do this, then she'll be in trouble. Wait, why? When we were making our way back to school, there was a guy with a camera behind her. What? I didn't realize that. She's being watched by many common people. If a strange rumor got started on the internet or something, then she would have trouble continuing her idle activities, right? If someone found out that I was the only one who got these cookies, then it would become a rumor. That makes sense. People would think that Asahina's interested in you, huh? Right, so it's better that I share the cookies with you. But wouldn't your reputation go down when people find out that you had given those cookies to your friend? Even though you got it especially from Asahina? That's fine. Unlike her, who's working as an idol, I have nothing to lose. Well, then it can't be helped. If something happens, then I'll take on the blame for it, too. I was careless and stupid for thinking that it was destiny and getting all excited. He was acting cold towards me, or, or so I thought. But he was actually trying to protect me. In the end, no strange rumors spread around, and the time passed by peacefully. Say, uh, you have no interest in idols, right? That's right, not at all. I just happen to have my group's album and a concert ticket, but, um, do you want them? No, I don't need them. Have at least some interest. But I did see on the news that the national tour was decided. What? You're becoming more and more popular. Good luck. 
You are usually cold, but you come out with such words and touch my heart. <sighs> Goodness. From there, Kohinata climbed up the stairs to become a top idol. For Kohinata, this was a good thing and also a bad thing. The more popular she became, the more attention she received as Asahina. On the other hand, her individual freedom as Asahi Kohinata was being taken away. Idols were forbidden from being involved in romantic relationships, and according to her, that's how she felt more and more distant from me. And regarding me taking a break from my idol activities, I've told my management office that I plan to gradually fade out from the scene and then quit. You've worked so hard up until now. Are you really okay with giving it all up? For me, there is something more important than that. I like you, Seiya Kagetsuki. I want to be in a relationship with you without having to hide it. So, although I feel bad for my fans who are supporting me, I wanted to go out with you and quit being an idol. Kohinata. Ah, but to think you had a girlfriend! Oh no, what should I do? Look, I am thankful that you're choosing me by sacrificing your career, but... Kohinata? What is it? This is too much pressure. How terrible! Don't say such a thing! Well, it really is too much pressure. Don't throw away your career just for someone like me. It's not too much pressure on you! I am serious about this. Or is it really too much pressure? Yes, it is. Why did you want to become an idol to begin with? That's because I thought it would be nice to have people who became happy if I sing and dance. Do you think that you were able to achieve that goal? Yes, I think so. If you are not entirely convinced by that, it means that you're still in the process of realizing your goal, right? Isn't there something you still want to do? Do you really want to give up in the middle of what you started just for a guy like me? But you have a girlfriend, right? Uh, that was all made up. That girl's my cousin, sorry. What? Why did you lie to me? It's because you were being annoying about me not being popular with girls, you know? It was troublesome for me. Troublesome! <laughs> but it doesn't mean that I don't like that part of you. What? Isn't it fine? It seems like Asahi Kohinata as opposed to the idol Asahina. Don't say it like you know what you're talking about. But if you don't have a girlfriend, then you could go out with me? No, I will not. Why? You don't like me then, after all? That's not it, but I don't want to see you give up in the middle of your goal. I want to see you pursue your dream to the furthest point that you could reach. But I don't know how many years that would take. I told you before, I don't mind being unpopular with the girls. With my introverted character, I'll probably continue being unpopular. So I'll wait until you're convinced that you've given all you can as an idol. What? It doesn't matter how many years it takes, you can pursue it to the point that you're convinced by it, okay? And at that point, if you still like me, then you can let me know. What will you do if I end up liking someone else in the meantime? It doesn't matter, it is what I would like to say, but I wouldn't like that. No, that would not happen. I will not end up liking anyone else aside from you, Seiya. I see. Then I feel relieved. So that is how we decided not to go out with each other. But I did make one promise. I don't have interest in idols, but I will support Asahi Kohinata, who's working hard as an idol. But then again, this was a sly promise. Because I had already been her fan. Dude, I heard that Asahina is retracting her statement to take a break from her idol activities. I wonder what happened. Who knows? Don't you have any interest in such things? Why are you grinning like that? It's nothing. Say, what are you listening to? Say, uh, are you listening to me? Hey! But during class, I still have some troubled moments. <laughs> hmm, what is it, Mochizuki? Uh, sorry, it's nothing. I think that this happened before. Don't yell in a strange voice like that during class, all right? What is it, Kohinata? I like you very much. You could tell me that in your own voice, you know. Wait, it would be embarrassing to actually hear that. 
That's how my secret relationship with Kohinata continues, until the day that she becomes the top idol and retires.